Imagine you are at work. There are two new employees. One of them constantly talks about how much he believes in the mission of the company and how great it is. But he doesn't do any work. The second new guy does great work, but he always puts the company down and praises the competition. How long will these guys last? How long before they are, fi they are fired? The first guy is like the man who has belief, but no action. And the second is like the man who has action, but no belief. Neither one can be truly happy in life. And neither, and their prospects in the hereafter are pretty miserable too. Right now, we are concerned with the second guy, Mr. Action, but no belief. Many people have an idea of what Muslims do. They have heard of Hajj, Ramadan, and they maybe even have seen Muslims pray. However, they don't really understand what Muslims believe. This is important because Islam is about both actions and beliefs. Just as there are pillars of worship that support the house of Islam, there are also pillars of belief. These are essential for a person to believe in so that they can succeed in this life and the next. These pillars of faith were explained to us by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He said, faith means to believe in Allah, his angels, his books, his messengers, the last day, the last divine decree, both the good and bad of it. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, listed six articles or pillars of faith. You may have noticed that some of these pillars involve believing in things that you cannot see. While the idea of believing in the unseen may seem strange, you probably already do so. Don't you think so? Do, do you believe in love? Can you tell me its shape and color? So let's talk about our first belief, that's our belief in our creator, Allah, God Almighty. Allah is his personal and unique name in Arabic. Allah describes himself in the Quran, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قل هو الله أحد Say, O oh Muhammad, he is Allah, the one. Allah Samad, he is the self-sufficient master. Everything needs him and he needs no one. He neither eats nor drinks. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begots not, nor was he begotten. So he has no children. Having children is a characteristic of the creation, not the creator. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ And there is none like unto him. Allah does not look like a human being. He is different from all of his creations. The second pillar of faith is to believe in the angels who are a creation of our Lord and are part of an unseen world too. They were created by Allah from light. Unlike humans, they don't have free will. They always obey the commands of Allah. Allah's books are the third pillar of faith. Allah sent books to some of his prophets, and the names of some of the books probably sound familiar to you, like the Torah, Gospel, and the Quran. Worship me alone, is the same message carried by all the books. Believing in Allah's messengers is the fourth pillar in Islam. Many are known by names and scriptures. Muslims respect them all. The difference between other prophets and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them all, is that Prophet Muhammad was the final messenger and he was sent to all of mankind. Allah's message to all of the prophets always remain the same. Worship Allah alone. The fifth article of faith is belief in the day of judgment, which is also the day of recompense. Allah created us the first time. 
So why not again? Allah says, كَمَا بَدَأْنَا أَوَّلَ خَلْقٍ نُعِيدُهُ What means, as we began the first creation, we shall repeat it. The final pillar in, in belief is the divine decree. This principle means that Allah is all-knowing. He knows what has happened in the past, what is happening now, and what will happen in the future. It also means that Allah has written the decrees for all things. If something good befalls a, befalls a person, this is from Allah. And if something bad befalls him, this is also from Allah. And there is a comfort in this because the believer knows that Allah only intends good for him. Divine decree also means that everything happens by the will of Allah. Even the bad, that does not mean that he likes the evil that happens. He only allows it to happen because all the evil that is in the world is the result of people's actions. It's the result of what people choose to do. And that brings us to the most beautiful part of the decree, free will. Allah has given us the will to make decisions on our own and to make choices. That free will is a valuable gift. It gives you the ability to choose whether or not to believe. These pillars of faith are simple, beautiful, and easy. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said it in a one sentence beautifully. Faith means to believe in Allah, his angels, his books, his messengers, the last day, the divine decree, both the good and bad of it. This is faith, and this is part of the beauty of Islam. Now discover it for yourself. Oh, <laughs>